This is the smallest production guitar in the world. It's not some science experiment made from a single cell. It's not a toy or some gimmicky travel guitar. No, it's a real fully working six string guitar with regular pickups that you can just walk into a store and buy. And because it's so small, it sounds ridiculous. Most guitars measure 25.5 inches from here to here. But this one is just 19.4 inches. And that means to make it work, you gotta tune up not down, which is the exact opposite of what you're meant to do in the realm of metal music. You see, for the last 30 years or so, metal bands have gradually been tuning lower and lower and lower. And that means that guitars are getting bigger and bigger and bigger because the lower you tune, the longer a guitar has to be from here to here. That's just how physics works. So in 1986, Heffield and Hammett used to play the nastiest riffs around on these things. But in 2023, things look a lot different. And that's why in the name of science, I thought I'd just play some metal on one of these things and see what happens. As usual, tabs are on my Patreon. Stick around until the end. I'll show you why a guitar like this can actually be quite useful. So yes, this sounds very, very silly. And since filming this, I found an even smaller guitar made by Vox. But why would you actually use something like this? Well, Paul Gilbert of Racer X and Mr. Big actually uses one of these tiny short scale guitars and he shreds on it. He realized that because of the small size, he could actually play notes and arpeggios that he otherwise wouldn't have been able to. He literally couldn't stretch and reach the notes on a normal guitar, but on something like this, he can. Now he even has a signature tiny Ibanez. Look at it, it's so small. And of course these would be great for kids or if you just got small hands or even if you just want to travel with something smaller. Or you could just do what I did and play metal in a ridiculously high octave. And if you want to hear what Metallica, Slipknot and Meshuggah sound like tuned up in a ridiculously high octave, well you'll love these videos over here. Thanks to Harley Benton for sending this over and for sponsoring the video. Links to these are in the description if you want to check one out. Remember to like and subscribe and thank you for watching.